Hey guys, this is Jamaxwell14 here, and today I'm going to be giving you a comparison video between Opera, Mini Opera, the new brand new browser, and Safari. Um, so we'll start off um, on both, and this is Opera, and this is Safari. We'll take a look at Opera first. It's brand new. Um, we, we can add things to the home page. You can flick around them. To we can get um, search by pressing this button here. We can add bookmarks. Okay, we can look at a set. We can look at a save pages and a whole load of stuff. Now I'll launch BBC News on both of these, and just to show you a kind of the speed comparison on both of them. These are on exactly the same Wi-Fi network. And we'll show you a comparison. So three, two, one. So loading pretty quickly. Safari seems to be doing a better job here. So Safari's loaded up, and Oprah's still going. Oh, Oprah's let me down here. I have to say, Oprah has let me mega. Down here, Oprah is actually quite fast. Um, no idea what happened there, but um, Oprah is a lot quicker to get back. So I'll try again. So these are on both same the same Wi-Fi network. For whatever reason, Safari is behaving a bit quicker here. And whilst Oprah loads, for whatever reason it's not working, Safari you've got your pinch and zoom. Um, what's the story, David Cameron? The Conservative trying to become Prime Minister, and um, we can see a whole load of the stuff. Um, we can pinch and zoom. We can flick out nice and gently. You've got a picture of Hitler there, for whatever reason. We can look at all of the stuff. Um, we can check it all out. It renders images pretty quickly. Got the time there on BBC. It produces really good pictures as on a David Cameron. Uh, we can save the image, just hold it down, tap on it, save image, open a new page. Now we'll take a look at Opera. If reason it's not working, it's really annoying me, guys. Um, Opera, here we go, it's, it's working. Opera was working great for me, and of course, on the uh, Safari, just double tap to go out. Same on all things. Um, so neither of them have Flash Player. But this is a bit. See, okay. So on exactly the same website. Um, oh, okay. And um, so here we'll have a side by side view, okay? It's exactly the same website. Opera fits it all into the page. So that's a good feature. It's got landscape mode. Opera fits it all into the page. Okay, as you can see, just double tap again. We can read it. That's the uh, Polish president, I think. Double tap again. And this one is not as clear from the start to see them all. But on Safari, um, it is clear to see them all. And um, so, yeah, here's a side by side view. Um, we've actually got different stories on both of them. Zooming wise, Oprah is good, but it's a little bit kind of laggy, I suppose. Um, let's do zoom. Okay, we'll do a zoom test. It's got pinch and zoom on both. So, three, two, one. So, um, Oprah, mini Oprah seems quicker. Uh, pinch and zoom. This is one of the main faults. It kind of feels. If I zoom in, it feels a bit kind of, I don't know, a bit laggy to shuffle around in. And it feels like I'm going too quickly. Whereas Safari, it's, it's perfectly timed, I feel, for my the movement of my hands. It doesn't render those images as quickly as you can see. You get that kind of grey area whilst it loads. Whereas on this, it's all loaded, so... That's kind of side by side view. Um, in terms of speed, Oprah will get you back quicker. We'll just go 
to Google, I'm a Google, sorry, um, and see, okay, so it gives you different views, it actually recognises this as um, different, as you can see here, we've got Google and Google side by side, accelerometer wise, okay, that's your test, okay, so they're both side by side, and these are both exactly the same third generation's iPod touches, 32 gigabytes. I think they're both pretty good, just different layouts. We'll try a refresh speed. So Safari, um, sorry, it's kind of 50-50. They're probably about exactly the same. Of course, you get this side-by-side -side view, which is pretty nice when you have tabs open. And of course, you can get that on this as well. But this is a nice kind of multitasking, more multitasking. Tap that button, open a new tab, go to Facebook, tap it, go back, tap it. You can flick through them. So obviously, if you open up some more tabs, okay, open up some more tab. We have these tabs here. It's a very nice way to flip between them. Get back to Google. Whereas here, it's a kind of doesn't feel as good, click on Skype for girls to try and buy some tickets for this um, gig and it doesn't feel as nice but um, in terms of speed guys, we'll do a quick launch test here, which launches quicker 3, 2, 1 ok, so Safari kind of kicked their ass there but um, it, they are nice guys, um, both of them I mean, they're both free, so of course this is built in uh, Opera is used by 100 million people on the main computers. So guys, in terms of apps, Oprah is very good. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe, rate and comment.